everyone. Uh, wow, listen, guys. I got nothing this week. Um, I don't even have words to describe how this week has gone. Hi. <laughs> uh, I, I'm just going to paint. Um, I had to put my dog, Roscoe, down um, on Tuesday. And I'm a little out of sorts. And um, my brain's a little clogged up. So <clears throat> I'm having a bit of a struggle. Um, so today um, I just needed to paint something and record it. And I knew that I hadn't successfully done a bigger um, bloom with a blow dryer on a little bit larger surface. This is a 10 by 20 um, inch and a half deep canvas. And, you know, at this point, I don't really care if it comes out or not, if I waste the canvas or not. I just want to paint. Um, I picked a, a color palette that's a little crazy, but um, we'll see how it comes out, right? So um, I think I'm just going to maybe zoom in a little bit more um, so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. I'll talk you through the colors I'm using. Um, hopefully that's not too close. You know, it might be a little bit. How about that? That's probably good. So just bear with me. Um, my brain isn't functioning 100%. It's not even functioning 50%. So um, it is what it is. Uh, so I'll go through my colors as I put them down because I have an array. I have a mess is what I have, and I haven't felt like cleaning it up. Um, but I have an array of different colors opened and ready to go. And I'm just going to kind of play it by ear, see what works and what doesn't. And then I have my big old icky blow dryer that doesn't work very well. Um, I've made a, a cardboard concentrator on it that I hope is going to work a little bit better. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So... Um, I'm just going to use my PPG Multi Pro White Base for this. And get my crusties off the side here. Probably should have some paper towel handy. And I haven't had a ton of practice in this, so I don't pretend to know what I'm doing. I haven't watched a bunch of long-form videos to get a better feel for the technique. Um, I keep trying, you know, just like everybody else. You just keep trying to get where you want to go. I'm trying to get this in a decent rectangle shape. And I put pins on my canvas because I'm using my old spinner that has the arms so that I can kind of control the stop and start a little bit better. Um, we'll see how that works out. So, because I want my red, purple, and copper to be prominent, I'm going to put those down first. Um, let's do, let's do the red first. So this is, um, <clears throat> Amsterdam primary magenta with a little bit of oxide black. And I don't know the meaning of the word minimalist. I pretend that I do but there's nothing minimalist about me. This is Golden's Copper Fine. And it is 
really, really pretty as an accent to red or purple. Um, this is um, Diox Purple. Nothing mixed in it. I'm wondering if I should do a hide and reveal. I do have some black mixed up. I just have not had <laughs> good luck with that. Um, so the purple, and then I have this pigment. This is Arteza Raspberry Red. And the jury was kind of out on whether I was going to use this um, Prussian Blue or not. Um, I'm going to put a little on. Not a whole lot. I don't mind if it blows out to the edges. And then I have pearl yellow. And I have a, oh my gosh, I don't know what this is. It's it's an orange pigment. Um, no, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use the, the pearl yellow. Um, let's just see how this blows out with, without the, the hide part. So I'm doing my Amsterdam Deep Gold Cell Activator. And I want to make sure I get enough of it. I don't, I don't. I don't know how much I'm actually supposed to use. And then I'm going to put a little black on top of it. Because I want some definition in my cells. So let's give it a go. good at this. I mean, the colors are beautiful, but I have zero cell activator down here. I wonder if... Hmm, you know what? No, nah, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to let it live. And I'm just going to kind of wet this canvas a little bit. Because that paint is not going to slide. I don't know if I need more paint. I don't think so. And I'm thinking on this as I spread this paint out. Because the cells up here are beautiful. And I have nothing down there. And I don't really know if I should leave it. I know I see a lot of... Um, deconstructed blooms, blow dryer blown blooms that have large areas that don't have cells. And the color play is, is really, really nice. Hmm. Let's give it a little spin, see what happens. Oh, this is so rickety. <laughs> well, you know, I don't know. I think maybe um, a little bit of little cell activator and another blow. See what happens. I mean, really, what's the worst that can, thing that can happen? It's paint. I can scrape it and start over.
Well, that's pretty. Yeah. All right. I'm going to just kind of go with it. See what I get. Because you never know. I don't know why I'm using such a, a long canvas because I don't see that pink getting all the way to the outer edge, but it could just be me. And this spinner is horrible. I made this a couple of years ago, actually. When I first tried balloons and swipes and yeah, I didn't use it. I stuck it in the closet. And it is definitely a rickety thing. But, you know what? It works. It spins the paint out. It's just noisy. Well, it's definitely not horrible. I mean, you might think it is. But I'm not thinking it's horrible. I know these can take a while to spin out. That end just doesn't seem to want to go. And I don't know if I can shift the centrifugal force on this to force this end to go, but let's try. Oh, so that's a no. At least not to spin that hard. Maybe... Go the other way. Or not. It's funny the the chaos you can create when your mind is not where it usually is. It's how I get centered again. Is to just create something. Makes me feel better. I'm good though. I'm, I mean, Brasco was almost 11 years old. We've known for quite a long time that he was on the decline. And so it was not a surprise. It's just hard because you miss them. You know, he's been with us a really long time. He's been like our child. And as as they tend to be. And I just miss him. I'm, uh, I picked up a couple of heart-shaped wood cutouts. And I have... A paw print from my pre previous Rottweiler and a paw print from Roscoe. And I'm going to pour the hearts and then put the paw prints on them. Just paying homage to my fur babies. We never got one for our first dog, Kayla. She was a Siberian Husky. She lived to be 15. And we never got, we never got a, a paw print from her, which I sort of regret. We had her for 10 years. My husband had her for three years before that. So this isn't awful. It's not fabulous. But it has some really fabulous parts. And it is flowing 
fairly well over the edges. Let's see if the middle is still moving. Just, just to see if I could maybe keep spinning a little bit because I know this, this is not a quick thing. I do have a little bit of movement in that center. So, I'm just going to roll. Thanks for being here, guys. I really appreciate you. This is very therapeutic and um, cathartic for me to be able to share my experiences and what I've learned with people that I don't even know. Um, it gives me a chance to be me and be creative and experiment, which I love to do. And I just appreciate y'all being here. Um, makes me feel good. <laughs> Thank you. So that's probably about as much movement as I'm going to get. I'm not seeing a lot of paint fly off. There doesn't appear to be any more coverage appearing on the sides either, which I'm totally good with. It's interesting how the black and the gold mixed and made a bronzy color. And it's pretty. And I, I do love the reds. The blue's strong. The blue is very strong. Um, it's very colorful. There's no question about that. There's a lot going on there. And I love how it thinned out in some areas and it's very watercolor looking. It gives some definition and texture to the painting. I, it turned out a lot better than I was expecting or even that I needed it to. I just needed to paint. Because I knew I wasn't going to get out a full video this week. And so this is it. So. I don't know. Let me let me know what you guys think. I'm going to I'm going to do a quick flyover. I know I don't do that real often. I want to keep this all in one video. But I want to do um, a quick flyover. Just so you can see up close what I see. So, let's move this out of the way. I better come around so that I can see on my monitor what's going on. So, oh my goodness. This is my favorite part. This is where all the cell activator went. And look how that just sort of bled out. So pretty. And this is the part where the, the gold and the black mixed and made this really pretty bronzy color. And this is really fine and fun. And this is very soft and billowy. I don't know. I don't hate it. It's not horrible. But anyways, that's it for now, guys. Have a great week. And I'll try to see you guys next week. I'll get my act together, I promise. <laughs> Bye for now.